morning so we are moving to practical number 2 so i will open this cisco packet tracer Here I want to just uh, give the or I want to just show the implementation of the distribution layer or such kind of thing is over there. So what I will do, I will take four machines and I will try to show a simple kind of communication or I will just take two machines to show the communication. So first what I will do, I will take routers, I will take four routers. and then I will take two machines I will take one switch and now I will connect all those devices I will connect PC with switch under PC with under switch then I will be connecting router and I will connect two routers with a serial cable now let us configure this network so I will give the IP address as uh, let it be 172.16. something 1.2 kind of thing will give default gateway as 172.16.1.1 this is for the first machine or the first network and uh, for the second uh, network I will give the IP address as 192.168.1.2 and will give default gateway as 192.168.1.1 so in this way I have given the IP address to the machines and now I will configure the router so I will click on this router I will just find out which uh, port is connected so here I have connected the fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so what I will do I will just configure it fast ethernet 0 slash 0 I will give the de default gateway address for the IP ad as IP address and may will make it on similarly I will do the same thing for the router 2 and I will just configure let me just check which port is connected again I have connected fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so I will give the default gateway IP address over there so now you can see the routers are connected with my machine so simply I will check uh, this connection whether it is connected or not so let me check yes it is coming as a successful you can see so router is connected with machine so I will give this uh, router as a core router this is the core 1 and ok this is the core 2 actually core underscore 2 this is the distribution so I will give ds underscore 1 and here it is a distribution too so I will just give the ds underscore 2 now I need to connect these two routers that is a core and distributed router so I will give any kind of default uh, IP address over there so here the fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so 10.0.0.1 will make it on and from here also I will do the 
same thing so i will double click on this router i will go to the config i will click on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 2 and we'll make it on i will just add label for better understanding when i will do uh, the routing so here i am just writing the ip addresses now you can now i need to connect uh, these two routers also so simply i will do fast ethernet 0 slash 0 that is a 20 dot 0 dot 0 dot 1 will make it on and here i will write 20 dot 0 dot 0 dot 2 this way I have connected these two routers I will give the IP address over there that is 20.0.0.1 and here I will give 20.0.0.2 now I need to connect these two routers so simply I will do I will, I will click on this router let me click and I will go to the serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 I will give the IP address as 30.0.0.1 will set uh, the clock rate and I will make it on similarly I will do the same thing for the second router and I will make it on now it is also connected I will just give the IP address for my understanding I will write it over here and the same thing I need to do for core 2 routers and core router so simply I will click over there serial cable that is a 40.0.0.1 dot zero dot zero dot one is a sixty four thousand and I will make it on again I will do the same thing that is a forty dot zero dot zero dot two and it is sixty four thousand make it on okay now you can see the connection it is actually connected but uh, routes uh, route will not routes are not going to travel so it is coming as a successful it is also coming as successful it is getting fed let me check yes now it is coming as a successful you can check and also I need to check yes it, is, it will be failed the first time but let me check it again yes it is also coming as a successful let me check whether it is uh, going uh, whether the packets are going to core or not Oh, it is coming as a fail so I need to configure this router I need to set uh, certain kinds of routing mechanism over here so let us do or let us set the routing mechanism I will do it for the first router so I will go to the C, uh, config here I need to select the routing that is RIP I will just go for version 2 and uh, here I will just enter all the IP addresses which are connected here I have connected 172.16.1.0 then 10.0.0.0 and here 30.0.0.0 then what I will do I will go for core so I will click on this router I will click on RIP we will select the version version 2 and then I will configure it if you want to go with version 1 that is also ok it is not like that we need to go with the version 2 so here I will give the IP addresses and here also I need to give the IP address ok so 10 and 40 will be added over here ok again I will do the same thing for core 2 here version 2 here I need to add 20 20.0.0.0 20 and 40.0.0.0 so that is added already and now I will select the last one that is a DS2 so I will just select the version version 2 and I will do the routing RIP routing over there so I will add 192.168.1.0 then I will add 20.0.0.0 and then I will add 30.0.0.0
so it is so i have connected three ports so definitely i need to add three ip addresses over there so i feel now my rip routing is done so let me check whether i have done over here yes it is done so now i will flow the packets let us see yes it is coming as a successful now it is coming as a successful you can see i can go from pc0 to pc core or also i can travel from core 2 to pc that is successful and let me check yes i am able to ping from pc0 to pc1 now i need to just generate this scenario so i will enter into the simulation mode then what i will do i need to just reset the simulation i will reset the simulation and here i need to just uh, click on edit filters and i will only select eigrp and the rest i will deselect or simply you can select rip also because we have implemented rip so simply i will select rip and rest things i need to just deselect so i will select the rest of the things i will deselect rest of the things i have selected only rip and i have configured ipv4 i have not configured anything about ipv6 so i will select rip then i will close this and i will perform the simulation so that is your practical number 2 thank you